Hey, if you want to get some powerful coaching tips on how to avoid erectile dysfunction and keep quality erections, then stay tuned because what I'm going to do today is what I love doing, which is coaching, which is giving you the thought processes and the ideas so that you can get to your desired result. And hey, my name is Brian, aka Uncle B, and for the last 20 years, I've been the sexual performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac. And during that time, well, I do coaching. And for the past videos, I've been getting a lot of information, a lot of facts, and that's all great and good, but it's not great until you actually execute. So what I'm going to do today specifically is give you a breakdown of the meaning of life and how it applies to you and your sexual health. As a bonus, I'm going to tell you how to execute on this idea so that you can get to where you want to be with your sexual health, with your erections. And as always, what I need for you to do is subscribe, hit the like bell, hit the notification bell, and what I'm gonna do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's talk about the meaning of life, which is actually sort of simple. It's control. <laughs> yes, control. I mean, when you're born, you don't have any control. By the time you're five, well, you have enough control to go to the potty and to feed yourself. By the time you're 10, you have enough control that we can leave you at home by yourself. And when you hit your teens, well, you know, you want to keep that freedom of being a kid, but you want to take control and you want to have control and then you get out of control. And by the time you're 20, well, you have all this control at last. And then you hit your 30s, it's like, whoa, whoa, there's a lot of control. And then you hit your 40s, you're like, man, I am so tired of having to control everything. <laughs> and then you hit your 50s and you're going, okay, okay, what just happened to my control? What's going on? And then your 60s and 70s and 80s, it's like, I want to make sure I keep as much control as possible. What's going on? Hey, hey. All of this makes sense because controlling yourself is how life is extended. So in order for your children to be successful and their children to be successful, we have to have control of ourselves so that, you know, we can raise our children correctly. <laughs> but it still comes to that thing that that one thing that your parents told you, well, that applies to you. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to do. You just don't do it. So why is it? How is it that you're able to execute? What do you need to do to make sure that you can do the things that you're supposed to do to get the results that you want? And for men, Control is the ultimate expression. We're talking about in order to protect our families, we have to control the environment. Whether that was always back in the Stone Age where you were moving stones around a cave or, you know, you're building a hut or you're chopping down trees to build a log cabin or, hell, you're building a skyscraper. It's all about controlling our environment. We have the physical strength to do that, the thought processes to do that. We six, stick satellites in the sky so we can track people. That's what we do. We look to control. But on the inside, on the physical side, we have to control our health because of the 80-20 rule, where 80% of our sexual health is physical, 20% is mental. So that 80% is like, well, okay, your health. How is your health in order for that member to move so that you can have control and so that you can continue procreation or at least practice procreation? <laughs> so what I'm going to be talking about is how to control yourself. And it's a very difficult thing and it's sort of easy at the same time because we've seen it happen with some people where they just, they change. All of a sudden it's like they were going downhill and then all of a sudden, boom, they're going in the opposite direction. And that can happen, but usually it only happens in drastic situations. So we want to be able to do this without, you know, hitting rock bottom or something like that. Before we hop into the whole control part of it, let's just look at what we're actually doing here. Because what I talk about is basically what all mothers talk about in terms of your health. It's like eat your fruits and vegetables, go to sleep on time, go outside and play. Everything I talk about is an expansion of those. We get into the science, we get into the details, but really what it comes down to is your execution. Are you actually doing the things that I'm recommending? So that's what we're going to deal with today. Let's get our mindset right. So the first thing is to start with the end in mind. The whole goal is to have better erections. <laughs> it's to have reliable erections and erections on demand. So if you're keeping that in mind, it becomes easier to say, okay, I need to back away from eating this, doing this, not doing this 
this because I this is my goal. This is what I want. And also remember to determine your happy balance because, you know, sometimes we like to get all into it, you know, where, you know, we're talking about the sexual performance scale where 10 is everything works, morning erections, uh, spontaneous erections, erections on demand, even the possibility of getting larger. Whereas at stage one, you're just impotent. Nothing works at all. And for me personally, I'm sitting here at a seven or eight, you know, it's like, I know what it takes to get to a nine or a 10, but that requires a lot of work. And eh, I'm cool with where I am. And I want you to be cool with where you are because you need to have a level of stress free. If you're stressing yourself to get to a 10 and it doesn't work in terms of everything else that's going on in your life, you got the kids, you got a lot of work to do, then you're going to stress yourself and you're not going to get to where you want to be and you could even slip further down. So we're looking for that happy balance. And a big part of that happy balance is being stress free. If you want to execute on the big things in your life, you need to reduce your stress. And here's a quick way to do that, which is basically to write it down. We're talking about write down the small things that stress you and the big things that stress you. I mean, for myself, for a small thing, and so I'm sort of a neat freak. So if I see something that's out of place, it's like, well, it'll bother me just in a small way. But you know, if I just go ahead and get it taken care of, if I write it down, it's like, oh yeah, just clean the windows, just clean the windows. Okay. I clean the windows. It's like, Oh wow. That's great. I got clean windows now. Huh? Stress-free for the bigger issues, whether it's finance relationships, you know, go ahead and write it down. Then think, then plan, then, you know, look on the internet, look for ways to reduce those areas of stress. If you're, if you're looking at this video right now, sexual health may be an area of stress for you. This is a good thing. You can expand that into other areas. So you're reducing your stress all around. A big thing to do is to change your culture. When I say your culture, I mean, what is normal to you. I mean, what's normal to you has been influenced by the outside culture. We're talking all the way to like, you know, what country you're in, to what state you're in, to what football team you like. I mean, that's all part of culture and it influences the way that you eat and sleep and the way you think. But, you know, you have to ask yourself, well, are these things working for me? All these things that people told me is normal, I believe is normal, I'm acting on as normal, is that really a good thing for me? Should I be sleeping for just six hours a night? Should I be looking at TV all day long and not really being active just because it's a football game on today? So those are the things that you need to ask because the question is, can my current habits lead me to my desired destination? That's a big question. So you need to be able to answer that. Another big thing to look at is your belief system because you may have to change your beliefs. And one big thing I encourage you to believe is that your body is a miracle. Your body is incredible. You can make changes. Don't just look for the shortcuts. People just look for, oh, I just want the pill. I just want the surgery. Do I have to actually do the work? Yes, of course. If you want to make change, you have to change. So this is a part of that process. And as I say all the time, walk away from crazy. Do not beat yourself up because you slipped on something. It's like, oh, I'm going to give up this habit and you don't do it right away. It, you know, you slip up one day and you're like, oh, it's horrible. I'm just going to go back to it all the time. No, don't do that. <laughs> walk away from crazy. You have, it takes a while to change most of your habits. So enjoy the process. I mean, that's the next tip. Enjoy the journey, not just the destination. So, you know, when it comes to working out, don't just sit there and I'm a picture a six pack. I got six pack guys on the wall just to be like, oh, I'm going to look like that without thinking like, yo, I actually enjoy going to the gym. I, when you change your mindset, I enjoy going to the gym. I enjoy looking at my food. I enjoy, you know, the feeling that I'm getting going through this process. Then it becomes easier and you'll reach your destination. A big thing is relearning as much as you can, because we've been taught so many bad things about the food we eat, you know, the water we drink, how we sleep, how we live. It's just all sorts of wrong. That's the reason why testosterone levels are down around the world. So many guys are, are having sexual health issues. It's because we've been learning the wrong things. Now you have the internet. You're on here right now. Go ahead and use that in terms of learning new things so that you can change yourself. Now you're learning things like maybe I shouldn't be eating 200 animals a month. Mm. <laughs> now that you know that you, you have to go back and, you know, look at videos, look at other people, you know, talk to other people so that you can reinforce that thought process. Otherwise you'll slip back into what you used to do. So in conclusion, the meaning of life is control. And as a man, you have a health requirement for your health to be under your control so you can have the erections that you want. Start with the end in mind and find a happy balance. Work the stress 
out of your life. Make changes to your culture and also your belief system so life becomes easier in terms of getting to your goal. And here's the question of the day, that biggest thing, that stress, what do you do to get stress out of your life? This will be expanded into a webinar because I've crammed a lot of information into this and you know I'm trying to get this in in 10 minutes, but I wanna make sure you get as much as possible out of this and as always, Leave the comments below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can find out about the webinars as they come out. And go ahead and check out the next video that's showing up around here. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up. Peace out.